June 12th, 2023. The teens woke early and were ready for devotions long before the scheduled time. Many had been anticipating an abrupt and early wake up, like last year. We decided to change things up to keep them guessing. I'm not sure anyone slept well either. Many took a long time getting to sleep, and there was lots of tossing and turning during the night. Once devotions were over, and before breakfast, we started with a team building game. Many had played the human knot game before, yet they struggled with this particular knot with this many people. So, you guys have until breakfast. Lots of voices could be heard talking over each other as they all came up with suggestions to get themselves untangled. They did make some progress, but eventually Chris broke them up into two groups to try again. This was a little more successful. And as you guys just discovered, when you've got a ton of voices speaking in, and if there was one person who's like, knows how to do it, and is trying to tell you how to do it, and you can't hear them, how much harder is that? Okay, so we gotta learn how to work together, but also how to listen. Same in your spiritual life. You gotta learn how to listen for God's voice as he talks to you, okay? So as we go through this day, that's parts of what we're going to be learning. But John has also got some aspects of how we are going, how you live your life on mission, which learning to listen to God is a part of that. After breakfast, the chapel sessions began. John Romano shared six sessions on Romans 12 and what it means to present ourselves to God as a living sacrifice. But the idea means giving my life to the Lord. And so during the course of this day, that's what we all need to be thinking about. Lord, do you have my life? Is my life yielded entirely to you? Or is it still mine? Who does your life belong to? The teens appreciated the good teaching and getting back to the basics, and plainly stating what it looks like to live for God. It was also very overwhelming, as many of the teens haven't spent such a long time sitting and listening to teaching on God's Word. We broke up each of the sessions with various activities designed to illustrate what they were being taught, and to help them grow together and work together as a team. So not only if you touch the tape, the spider will bite you, but once somebody goes through one spot, that slide is now closed, and nobody else can pass through it. Watch the tape! Watch your head. Here, I'm taking it. Yeah, I'm just going to put it in the tag on. The games were challenging, but ultimately good for them to push through and figure out. The staff also got a taste of how they all function as a group, who the leaders are and who the thinkers are, and who is willing to step up and help. The last activity we did was washing each other's feet. We started with the teens paired off randomly. Then after that, they could wash the feet of anyone else they wanted to encourage. With each foot washing, they shared encouraging things to each other and talked about how they were encouraged by each other. Then they would pray for each other. Some only did the first person, but many of the teens went to several people and encouraged them and washed their feet. It was really encouraging to see them reaching out to each other.